When I popped off, then your girl gave me just a little bit of a chop, baby. So call he from What's good YouTube? It's your boy Ninja Chizzo and I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make a solo duo squash uh fire team whatever make a scrims. So basically so today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make a battle royale scrims, not uh the scrims where there's a line pushing in but a, a scrims when there's a circle. So basically all you wanna do is go into a meadow island and I'm gonna show you the rest when I get in there. So the first thing first is you want to find the middle of the map. So basically the middle of the map for me, wait, let me stop that. Okay, the middle of the map should be about right here. And I don't know why there's a glitch, but uh, when I get to the middle of the map right here, when I get to the middle of the map, you basically want to get this right here. It is called a basic storm control. It's in the device. It's called a basic storm control. So basically, throw it where you're sitting, where you're standing at. And here is how I'm gonna help you with the settings. So this right here, the NITO, NITO radius, is basically where the storm will start at. So if I put it at 100, and you see that line right there shows that whole shows where the uh, storm will start and how it will close in. So if I put it at 200, this is where it show where it will come in and where it will uh where it will start. So right now I'm just going to put it at the 100. This end radius is basically where the storm will technically where the storm will end. So if I put it at five, it will. This is the storm where it will end. If I put it at no, not zero. I'm, I'm sorry. Ten. That it will end at ten. So if I put it at twenty, it will end at twenty. Me personally, I like to end it at five. I used to like to end it at zero, but I kind of like to end it at five. The wait time is how long for the storm to start. So. You can have the wait time as long as you want, but I advise you to put it at at least, let's see, at least 10 seconds, at least. Because you want, if you're making a zone wars, you want your team or the people that you're playing against to get their guns and be able to go out of their position. I mean, go into the position so they can set up. So uh, the, resi the resize time is basically how long it would take for this part of the storm to get to this part of the storm. So me, I don't, I don't like it that quick, cause I had it at, I had it at uh, 30 seconds, but the lower it is, the faster it goes. So you can have it at 1.5, one minute. I like it at 1.5, so I'm just gonna put it at 1.5. But uh, the delay time. So when you start the game. It, it basically shows when the storm will start. When the storm will start to pop up and start to move. I put it, I'm, for me, I put it at 15 seconds. You can put it at whatever seconds you want, but I advise you to put it at 15 seconds. So, the damage. So, this is the most important part about the storm. You could put it at my, the one that I really like is 5, 10, and 20. You could put it at whichever one you want, 5, 10, or 20. You can put it at any one. So right now I'm just gonna put it at 10. And uh, that's basically it for this part. Now I'm gonna show you the settings for it. So if I go over to my island, basically the voice chat at all. Uh, I have three teams because if you wanna like make teams for it, you get, you basically get, uh, let's see, where are the spawn pads? Uh, no, 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 item spawner, no. Player spawn. Okay, so you basically get a player spawn. Place it down. Whatever team you want. Team one should go here. Uh, you can say team two could go here, and then team three goes here. So it doesn't matter. You could. You don't have to put it in order, but you have to have. So if I put one to three, you have to have one to three teams. One, so next you uh, 
your spawns definitely has to be one. That's the most important part. Spawns one. Because if you put it at, if you leave it at infinite, it will have infinite spawns, which means that if you kill somebody, they'll respawn and keep respawning. So you have to definitely put it at one. But also put it at spectate. That's how much you want to put it at spectate. When if you have uh total rounds, as you see it says total rounds up there, you definitely want to put that at uh at one for me I like it one but if you want to like keep the game going to see who gets the most wins you could put it at 10 or whatever you want team rotations uh, you want to put that at every round so the team just keeps rotating so everybody gets different guns uh, this doesn't really matter time limit put it on put it on no none no time limit fastest time to win disabled most rounds one uh, you could put it on that. It, it really doesn't matter. Most score wins. It really doesn't matter. Eliminations to end. Turn that off. We, all of this goes off. So off, off, off. Last standing. That's also important. So if you kill the person, if you kill the last, so basically say it's a 1v1 between me and somebody else. If I kill that last person, then I win. So basically, if you turn this off and I kill the last person, it will basically just keep me alive while everybody else is uh, is just spectating me. So you definitely want to turn that on. Uh, joint in progress, I like spectate. If you want it to be a, a good zone wars, you want it at spectate. So if someone joins, they don't just join in the map and then there's an extra player. You want to put it at uh, spectate. Spawn locations, definitely put it at spawn location, spawn pads, because if you put it at the sky, then people won't spawn where the gun's at. Uh, auto start, if you want that on for your 10 rounds, you can turn that on. Allow out of bounds. I don't, none of this rest of stuff cares. I mean, matters. Uh, your starting health, or you can have any of these wherever you want to have it. It really doesn't matter. I like tech, me personally, I like mine at uh, everybody starts off at 100 health. I know. Infinite ammo, infinite resources. You can have infinite resources on or infinite ammo. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you. So, these settings right here that I'm about to show you are going to be up to you. Uh, harvest style, like say you want to put a tree around somewhere or you want to put bricks or something, you can put creative. Creative is the most best one. It gives you a lot. It's yeah. like playground. Battle Royale gives you like the Battle Royale, what you need. And Save the World is the worst because it's so slow. So I'm going to put it on, on Battle Royale. But I'm not adding nothing. Allow aim assist. Of course, yes, people have aim assist. Allow building. Keep that on. Building can destroy environment. Environment damage. Uh, pickaxe destruction. You want to definitely turn this on uh, default. Because you don't want no one coming up to you. This basically means that uh, somebody can't come up to you and just... Take the dog out the Bro, I was making a video. Uh, pickaxe destruction basically means that uh, if you if you don't want no one to pickaxe your your building, and instant means it just hits it one time and it will break. Or this one default means that it will be like a battle royale. Down but not out, you keep that on default because if there's teams, then they get not well. You can you don't have to keep it on default. But if you if you keep turn it on, then uh, if there's teams they get knocked. So, but I'm not doing teams, so I'm gonna keep it on default. Keep items and eliminate it. This is important. Also, you want to turn that on to drop because when you kill someone, you obviously want them to drop their loot. So you want to turn on drop. Uh, allow items to be dropped. Yes, yes. Respawn time. It really doesn't matter for the respawn time. Spawn immediately. Uh. This really doesn't matter either. Fall damage. You could turn fall damage off or on. I like mine's off, but you could turn yours on or off. Gravity. You want to turn that on normal if you want a regular one. Jump fatigue. Jump fatigue is basically when you're in a game and you spam X or A or whatever, space bar or whatever, and you jump, you keep jumping, keep jumping, your person will um, just like stop and just like lose all their energy if you turn jump fatigue off you could do infinite infinite 90 you can just keep jumping as much as you want to so i like to turn that jump fatigue off so i can do infinite 90s glider redeploy if you want people to die off of all damage you turn it off if you really don't care then you can keep it on 
flare fight of course off uh, it really doesn't matter for this doesn't matter for that either uh, player name look if you want name locations on you could put always show if you want it always to hide so it could be like challenging for you on your team but if you only want it for team only then yeah health granted okay this is one of this is important also so health granted is basically a health granted on elimination so you can have 10 health uh, 25 health 50 health 100 health or 250 health or shield because all these are health or shield but if you put 250 it really doesn't matter because if the max health is uh, 100 and the max shield is 100 it won't go to 250 so you'll be fine so if you put it at 250 it will give your person I mean it will give the person that got the kill 200 health so I'm just gonna keep out on 200 health wood stone or metal granted if you turn off uh, infinite with infinite resources then you might want to need this you might need this for people this you don't want that on damage self you don't want this on either you don't want none of these on right now and then these you don't it doesn't really matter for these you can change the name to it to like solos or duos whatever you want to change it to and then yeah so basically guys that's how you get your zone wars to work now I'm going to show you the zone wars that I have and how it works so my zone wars is solo scrims 1.1 well I like to call it scrims I don't technically call it zone wars a lot of y'all call it zone wars but I, I personally call it scrims so uh, when I so basically when I started like here it is that's where it is at that's where it starts at this is all the places like when you I have a spawn pads in there and every spawn pad is different teams so I'm going to start the game and show y'all how it goes I think I have time limit on this one because I didn't mess up my thing oh no I don't but uh see as you see this is the guns that comes in it I like uh right now I'm still working on it but I have infinite ammo on as you see uh it's like regular zone wars uh, 500 I don't have infinite resources on so that's also that's also that but uh yeah that's basically it and as you see it says one minute because I put it at one minute and 30 seconds and that's why the storm is going so slow but so it's basically not one minute 30 seconds it's one minute 1.5 so as you see that person just won it says victory well I just won it says victory team one wins um yeah that's basically all so make sure y'all go like this video hit that subscribe button and comment down below some more videos i should make uh let me just end this game real quick before it starts a whole another one uh and if you uh need help with any zone wars then i could help you help you to make it or anything my uh as you see here it is right here this is my youth my fortnite name this is my epic and my uh playstation name so make sure y'all go before y'all even click out this video before this video even stops hit that pause button like the video subscribe and comment down below more video ideas so i can start posting more videos because i have been slacking make sure y'all and Make sure y'all go to sub subscribe to Quan Gaming, you know, brother. So yeah, and I'll see y'all in the next video.